Welcome back. The latest Marvel superhero, Ant-Man, crawls into theaters this week, and a popular comedian <laughs> is a train wreck when it comes to relationships. Tony Descano is here. I'm here. Talking with, pictures with us. With the whole scoop. You know, we, sometimes we have bad weekends, sometimes we have good weekends. Please tell me this is a good weekend. This is a great weekend. Good, because yeah. it rains. We need to go theaters anyway. Let's start with what everybody wants to hear about first. Okay. Ant-Man. Good. Uh, Paul Rudd, Michael Douglas uh, get together and... You know, do you remember when Guardians of the Galaxy came out and how, how much fun that was? Yes. This is the same thing. I mean, really. It, this is a lot of fun. They've taken the, uh, uh, a great comic book by Marvel and uh, really kind of pumped it up a little bit. Paul Rudd is a reluctant hero. Uh, uh, Michael Douglas as the scientist who's kind of invented all this stuff. You have the reluctant hero. You have some really great bad guys. You have a very self-effacing movie. It, it kind of makes fun of itself in ways. Ant-Man is a wonderfully executed action-adventure movie with a great sense of humor. I'm giving it an A. Oh my gracious! You don't, you don't do that very often. Not a lot on superhero movies, really, because they're kind of all the same. There is a regurgitation of of a lot of things, but this one deserves an A. We had so much fun with you the took, audience. Yeah, and you took some of our friends to the big opening. We the did. Other day. We're going to talk about it later on okay. uh, today too. How much fun everybody had, but. It deserves an A. It's really that much fun. Fantastic. Now we're moving on to uh, what movie? Holmes? Uh, Holmes. Mr. Holmes. Yes. <coughs> Excuse me. This Excuse is, you. This is set in 1947. The story follows Sherlock Holmes, who's now long retired. He's living in kind of a, a home in Sussex Village. He's got his housekeeper, played by Laura Linney. And he's got a detective son that's kind of trying to live in his, his shadow. But Ian McClellan in this does such a great job as the retired Sherlock Holmes. He's trying to figure out a, uh, a case that's 50 years old that still he hasn't solved yet. Uh, he's also living with the problems that Dr. Watson left him with, you know, all of the Sherlock Holmes type thing, yeah, like yeah, the yeah. deerstalker cool, hat cool. and the pipe and all and of that. And what's the grade for this guy? The grade on this one is an A. It is... Oh my gosh, we got two! Two in a row. A wonderful, wonderful film. It's rated PG. Okay, great. So it's really, you know, anybody can come see this movie. And what was Ant-Man rated? Ant-Man was PG-13. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Now, the next one we've got is rated R, I believe. We have a rated R movie. Uh, everybody, I think, has fallen head over heels in, uh, in love with Amy Schumer. Her sense of humor is taking over. And she's real, which and, I like about her. Yeah, right? and she's, she doesn't have any apologies for it either. In the movie, Schumer uh, has had it driven into her head that monogamy just doesn't work. Mm -hmm. She's had a very dysfunctional family, as you can imagine. And now she's a magazine writer, and she's enjoying this kind of uninhibited life. Uh, but I love how you said that little smirk on your face. She's kind of feeling like she's in a rut until okay. she meets this doctor played by uh, uh, Bill Hader, who's a sports doctor. His best friend is LeBron James. Yeah, how did LeBron James do? He does, he does a great job. Uh, that's all I want to see. So the whole movie basically is about, am I right, am I wrong? It's, it's uh, written by Amy Schumer. It's directed by Judd Apatow. It's got a great pedigree. So and there's a go? lot of fun in this movie. That? It is a really funny adult. And you gave that movie. one a B. This weekend is setting out to be fantastic. Yeah, it's rated R. Remember that. Okay, do and, remember that. And again, this is as much fun as a uh, uh, an adult probably can have in a movie. You're just going to laugh your your butt off. Well, guess what? If yeah. you like Tony as much as we do, please let him know by going to like him on Facebook. TV's oh, I like you pictures. too.